What's up guys? A lot of people come to the realization once they start using a race pack data logger within their racing endeavors is how much you can actually learn on just one run. So as you start using the program, you start to get a little more, more familiar on how, to, how things work and things like that and you want to start learning more, right? Well, race pack offers a really cool option called the race pack data link to standard software upgrade. Some people may have purchased this when they uh, when they purchase their V300 or V500 or something like that. Um, but uh, if you have a Sportsman or an IQ3 drag dash, it's something that uh, you can actually upgrade to. And what I'm talking about is the ability to unlock your whole Race Pack Data Link 2 software to give you the ability to create your own mathematical channels and run long pages. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, I'm here to show you today. So basically, you have the ability to create these mathematical equations in your Data Link 2 software that will allow you to create channels for that so that way every time you download a run you can just click on on something that uh, say for instance oh I want to know what my converter percent slip is so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the channel instead of having to do the long math by hand every single time you want to do that um, that's just an example you can create your own run log pages if you want to create a custom weather channel custom uh, math channel for um, let's just say turns of tire or something like that. So um, what I want to do is I want to show you how simple and easy it is to create your own math channels within within the Data Link 2 software and then maybe you, uh, this might just be an upgrade for you. So let's take a look and dive in. We're going to go ahead and open up our Data Link 2 software and then from here I have uh, just the basic standard software. Now mind you this this computer has the unlocked software that will allow us to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a config file that I have on here to kind of show you guys. So we got a V300 config file. And this config file has a bunch of different stuff that, uh, that we've created when it comes to, uh, to math channels. Say, for instance, uh, uh, total tire turns on a run. That's a cool one. Drive shaft RPM divided by the gear, the gear ratio divided by the circumference of the tire. Things like that is what we can do. But the one I wanted to talk to you about today is the converter percent slip, which would be right here. So let's let's show you how to make all this stuff real quick. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here to edit in the upper left corner and you're, you're going to click on channel maintenance. And when you click on channel maintenance, it's going to give you all these same channels that you see over here on the left, but just a way that you can modify and edit them, etc. This is basically everything that's housed in your config file. So what we're going to want to do in, in this particular case, we're going to click Easy Insert Channel. And then this essentially is going to ask you, this is kind of where all the, the math starts to come into play. It's going to ask you, what exactly are you doing? Um, are you making an, an in, integrator, a derivative, a calculation, etc.? So in this case, we're using a calculation. And is it an expression or a ratio? In this case, it's going to be an expression. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this Converter Percent Slip. I'm going to actually put Converter Percent Slip 2 because I already have this channel in the config file, but I'm just showing you how it works. So, and then here's where the math comes into play. This is where you put your equation in your software. So in this particular case, I want to take the engine RPM, so I'm going to double click on engine RPM, I'm going to put the little minus sign, and I'm going to subtract the drive shaft RPM from the engine RPM, and then I'm going to divide that answer divided by the original engine RPM, and then I'm going to multiply that by 100, which will create this into a percentage. Basically, I happen to already know what this was. So this is the important part. If you if you don't know how to create the math, you could probably get that from somebody or call us if you have an idea of something. We might already have this on file, um, but uh, it just depends on what what the one that uh, you're looking for. The converter percentage slip is a very popular one, so this is one that we usually embed into systems all the time. But anyway. Um, we're going to display four digits before the decimal point and then two after. And then the result unit in this case, we're going to go ahead. I mean, obviously, we're not uh, doing miles per hour or something, so we're just going to leave that blank. Uh, minimum result value will go zero, and let's say maximum, we'll just do 
200%, which obviously will probably never reach that. 100% is probably the, the most you'll ever see. But anyway, so from there, you're just gonna go ahead and click OK. And when you do that, see how it just go, goes and uh, adds it into your system right there? And it tells you exactly what, what you've just done here. So once you click OK, boom, there it is in your, in your config file. So now it's in my config file, now what do I do? So um, basically now you just, you're just gonna go ahead and make a run. So let's, let's show you an example right quick of one that uh, we have this in here to kind of show you what it's actually done. So this is a uh, super comp dragster run that uh, converters are very important. And let's go ahead and take a look here and see if we can find converter percent slip. And here it is, let's change it to a color that you guys can see. And as you can see here, 99.95%, um, this is obviously when it's on the trans brake, it's uh, basically completely stalled out. So, but a lot of times, a lot of the super category racers like to see what the slippage is down track. So if we were to go click down here and I was to go somewhere in and around here, I shoot for about 10% slip within my converter in the car that I'm running. And see right there, we have 10.19% slip. So that's a good prime example as to uh, what this will be able to do for you. Now, mind you, yes, you can do this by hand and, and, and read a ratio, you know, but see, it's just a little bit off. Um, your engine versus drive shaft ratio, kind of the same thing, but uh, if you wanted to create your own channel, so just for a quick reference, and that way you just click on it, boom, okay, 10%, cool, I'm good. And there you have it, guys. Just another simple and easy way to uh, navigate the Datalink 2 software and allow you to learn more on each run that you make down the track or around the track. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us toll free at 888-429-4709. Or you can always check us out on racepack.com on our new Holly Brands website. And you never know, you might just have to grab a new uh, Racepack hoodie while you're there. Take care, guys, and we'll see you soon.